It's on the mound for the Padres is Reese Kinnear. The Fordham Flash, 25-year-old, called up today as the 27th man of the doubleheader. Fourth appearance of the season, a fourth time that he has been recalled from Triple A. He's got a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. Very good athlete. Played first base when he did not pitch at Fordham. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Iglesias. This is back up the middle, and it is really remarkable. Three hits in the first game. A single here in the nightcap for Iglesias. He started the evening at 310 among the league leaders in hitting. Lead off single for Jose Iglesias and brings up Randall Grichik. And a fly ball to center field has Grisham moving back. He's there and he makes the catch for the first out. One out one on CJ Crone deep in the box on the right side. Pops it up. First base way into foul ground. Will Myers is over. And he's there to make the catch for out number two. Enough single by Iglesias, but Luis Kinnear able to get back to back outs. And here's Brendan Rodgers. And there's another base hit for Rodgers. Iglesias should go first to third here. Oh, he's going to put the brakes on. I thought he would continue through, but with two outs, want to make sure you stay, uh, don't make that third out at third base. So two down, two on, and Ryan McMahon. And he'll drive it to right field. That'll do it. Might score two. It goes all the way to the wall. Mazzaro comes up with they will hold Rodgers at third. Iglesias scores. RBI double for Ryan McMahon. One nothing Rockies. Second and third down. Two down. Elias Diaz the catcher. They just called a balk. They did call a balk. That's the second balk we've seen on a San Diego pitcher today. The Rockies will take that two to nothing. Yeah clearly he started. And he knew it. He's on the mound for the Rockies with a 2 0 lead already is Jose Urania. 30 year old, the last time out, a lot of career high 10 runs against the Dodgers at Coors Field. Joseph Fofar to lead it off here after a huge game today for the Padres in game one. Right back at him and through into center field. The hits continue for Jerickson Profar. That's six today. Wouldn't that be something if Jerickson Profar finishes the day with nine or 10 hits? Well, He's on his way there. Pro far at first to get it started here. In the first, here's Manny Machado. Runner goes as Machado takes ball four. And down to first he goes. First two Padres have reached here in the first inning. Two on, nobody out for Cronenworth. Overall at 240. Three and one to Cronenworth. As Urania has gone to three balls, all three guys that he's faced. And low ball for back to back walks. The bases are loaded. There's nobody out. And Jorge Alfaro is coming up. Bases filled with Friars. Jorge Alfaro coming up here in the first inning. Alfaro to right field. Over goes Grichik. In the foul ground, makes the catch. Tagging at third is Profar. The throw will be cut off, and the Padres are on the board. Sack fly for Jorge Alfaro. It's two to one, Colorado. Machado to third, Cronenworth to second, and Will Myers coming up. Fly ball headed to right center field. Pretty deeply hit. Hampson is back there to make the catch. Machado tagging at third. He will score, and this game is tied two to two. The bases are loaded here with two down. In the spot, Grichik, a 319 career hitter, two grand slams on his resume. On the ground, right side, Cronenworth slides over from the outfield. Grass will get it there in time. Nice play by Jake. In a weird spot on the diamond, but he gets it done. And the Rockies load him without getting a hit and leave him loaded. One out for Manny Machado, who has walked and flied out to the warning track in right field. 2-2 is hit towards left center field on the run and diving and catching the ball. Sam Hilliard, what a play in deep left center field. Hilliard got a great jump and made a wonderful catch. My goodness, that's about as good as it gets right there. He used his speed, yeah, to just reach out and all in one motion, reaching up, grabbing that ball, hitting the deck, rolling around and holding on. What a great catch by Sam Hilliard. Yeah, and we're talking about a large young man. Yeah. With that kind of speed and athleticism. Oh, that was pretty. Yeah, 6'5 and 225 doing that. And he loses him. Walks the number nine man. A two out walk. First base runner for the Padres to reach against Gomber. Uh, two down, batting at first, and the top of the order. Jerks and Profar coming up. 
by the shortstop into left center field. A base hit for Profar. Up to second base goes Batten. And it's two on with two down. Padres trying to get something done here. Got extended on this one. That's a strike. 84 outside corner. Just out of the reach of Iglesias. And he walked in the first. Flight out to the warning track and right in the third. You just saw a diving catch by Sam Hilliard to rob him in the fifth. Three and oh. And that's ball four to load the bases. Second walk of the inning allowed by Gomber. That's kind of a pitch around right there. Really wanted nothing to do with Machado. And would rather take his chances with Cronenworth, but you know what? He's not going to have the chance, it looks like, as Bud Black is headed out. Austin Gomber chased from the game and fired up about it as he was cruising. And then all of a sudden, the walk to Batten and Padres have the bases loaded. So we get a pitching change here in a tie game, and into the game comes Lucas Gilbert. Four seamer, slider, and a splitter enters his 38th game. Filled with Friars, Batten at third, Profar at second, and Machado at first with two outs in the seventh in a 2 2 game. And Jay Cronenworth, the first hitter that Gilbert will face. Here's the 2 2 to Cronenworth, and on the outside corner, strike three call. 96 mile an hour fastball, and Cronenworth is hot. Pitch was absolutely outside, and the zone has been small all night long. Adrian Johnson lets him bark a little bit, eventually puts up the right hand. Jake goes back into the dugout, and the Padres leave him loaded. Isaiah Zokar is going to pinch hit for Nomar Mazzara. Up, and he'll line it to a diving Brendan Rodgers, who caught it just above the ground for out number three. We head to the ninth. Still tied at two. And the debut in a Padres uniform for Josh Hader. Acquired Monday from the Milwaukee Brewers. This is not a save situation, but he it's worth mentioning. Currently leads the majors and saves with 29. Montero going to lead it off here for the Rockies in the inning. On the ground to second base. Sharply hit, but Cronenworth is there for the first out of the ninth inning. One down in the ninth inning for Garrett Hampson. Two and two. Pitch from Hader. Swung on and missed strike three. 98 miles an hour. And Josh Hader had his first strikeout in a Padre uniform just now against Garrett Hampson. Two down in the ninth. Sam Hilliard from the number nine spot. Fly ball. Left center field. In comes Profar. A one, two, three, ninth inning for Hader in his Padre debut. Head to the bottom of the ninth. Tied at two. Here's Grisham. Driven to right field. High, deep, and it is gone! Trent Grisham walks it off. Padres win it three to two. Was it hit high enough? You betcha. 